show me how you go about using the splicer. Yeah, so once it's, once it's planed on the front and uh, gone through the, the press, we would then bring it to this machine, uh, which we would open up. This is, this is the one for the blade this side where we would set, we would gauge that in the, in the other side. So you splice it to make the handle? Yeah, no, this is the splice to make into the, into the blade, okay? Um, the handle is done on this one, so, and obviously in the, in the opposite cut. So this one, and then basically we would push that in, um, which will cut that V, pull it out, move it across, and, and cut that. And that would just, that would just pull the, the splice out okay beautiful beautiful so and the handle goes in this side which would just sits in there and does the opposite cut okay. is this where you put in the glue as well no no that's done in the workshop the workshop yeah so so that would go from here to the workshop once they've been spliced can i just lift this cliff well this is very light very light, yeah, very yeah, light. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we've still got to cut it to length. It's got to be planed. It's got to be pressed. Okay. Um, and this one looks like it has good grains. Just, just, yeah, just this looking at nice. this one here. Yeah, this yeah. A... With the last lot of timber we've had, we've had some very, very good timber. Beautiful, and and, and the back as well has nice yeah. Um, yeah. grains. Okay, beautiful. So this is Mark Adina Duff with the insight um, and back making. Stay tuned for my next session. All right, thank you.